Okay, welcome back. This is V Santiago uh, 113. Um, let's continue. Uh, this is where we left in the, in the last video. So we having like we can fix that to make this exactly the same size, like right here. We can say um, instead of subtract a, what happens if we just subtract six? I have to open. That's a problem. Okay. Say if it's now the same size. Mm, still isn't exactly the same size. I subtract only eight, only six. See, we subtract four. I'm sorry, guys, for wasting too much time on this. Hmm. Oh, I'm subtracting four in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm subtracting four in the wrong place. It's subtracting on here. That's why it's in, it's, it's in working. I was doing on weight on hate. I was doing on width and he's on hate. Okay, so it's getting there. So now we should strike only forty three. Nah nah. Because of the image, yeah, just leave it leave it how it is. I'm sorry. Because of the image because Visual Studio and Python is not exactly the same size. You need to play with them until you find exactly the size that is really, really close. So now let's continue with the next one. Next button. Okay. Um, and now this one is going to be infinite ammo. Inf ammo button infinite ammo sequence of command uh, here is go ammo and that's it and where we're placing them is different because on here uh, it's the same it's 35 12 and 268 and this should work Okay, now let me show you what will happen if you have one without TTK. This is how it's going to look like. Look at the difference. This is a not, not TTK, TTK, not TTK, TTK. So that's the difference. I like using a TTK because it looks better. So let's um, close all these and add TTK again in here. Okay, so now we have those two. Now we need for a uh, about button. We're gonna say about. About and about. Sequels about, about, about. Okay. So this one is located on. And it's 50, 38, 239, and 9. This is the about. Okay, we have it on here. Command about, which is going on here. Okay. Fin ammo function, fin help. Okay. This seems to be working out it's the way that I want. Now we're gonna do the grenade. We're going to create an, ent an entry because if you look on here, so you guys know. Now we're going to create a, this entry for the for the grenades. So we set self entry grenades. I always say like for example, if it's a button, a button. If it's a label, I add label entry. Have it on here. I should put entry on here. Well, always okay. 
let's keep it. I don't want to waste too much time on those things. Those little details take a lot of time. Uh, entry doesn't get anything. So, so entry grenade that place. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm sorry, keep doing the wrong thing. Okay, let's get this one from here to here. Okay, so 100. 20 182 on 217 okay now we say uh, this is the bottom from that now we're creating the bottom for that for the grenades Because it's a button, you know what? Let me do this real quick. Because I already have until there. Okay, patterns is gonna say insert grenades. Hmm. Forgot something on here. I forgot one more thing. Timer. Hmm, I forgot the grenades. That's what I forgot. Definition. Just give it whatever name. Sub grenade. So grenade pass okay. Uh, um, just just use the same names as everything I'm doing. That way you won't have any problem when you run it, getting into problem with variables and stuff. And has a pass okay. So okay, this is looking good. Um, about it should be grenade that button. Now the place is different. Uh huh. Sixty one eighty two. I'm sorry. This part I don't know. I. Next videos, I, I won't probably be teaching all of this stuff, but it's okay. And um, so far, so good. Let's see if it works. Uh, right here, we have it. We have the grenade, the infinite ammo. So it looks pretty much same. Right, so this is good. Okay, so we have the GUI, we have everything that we need. So uh, now we're going to add some functionality to everything here. Let me let's make one more thing. So now I'm sorry. So remember on here that we were creating the for the how you say for for the variable for the address on that we get from sheet engine so now let's do that on here so we're gonna say health variable is equal because it's hexadecimal I always start with a zero and an x always because we don't know the address yet just type x zeros one two three four five six seven eight and that's too much just type three one two three let me see if this still works if you give me an error Ah, still works. No errors, nothing. It's just three zeros. Okay. And then. Oh, 
Okay, I think everything is good. Uh, we have uh, we have health variable. Uh, we have m ammo. Uh, main. This is for the main ammo for that gun. We have grenades, and now we're gonna have for the infinite. Man. Hold, but okay for the infinite health value. Uh, I take our case. I I just make it. I just if I get an error, the program is gonna let us know anyways. Okay. Ammo value equals false. Okay. Okay. This is something because we don't have like that I know of. Uh. Or a toggle button, like for example, on on Visual Studio, for C sharp, C, C sharp, or or C plus plus, or Visual Basic, you have a toggle button where you can turn it on or off. On Python, because we don't have one, I I I set them to off, to false. So every time you click on the button, okay, it's off. When and I was gonna do okay to turn that on, I create a function where it check if the button is equals false. If it's equals false, it's gonna skip means it haven't been pressed. If it's equals on, it's gonna turn it off. If it's equal off, it's gonna turn it on. You know, to create a toggle button, you're gonna see in the next tutorial. So everything seems to be working fine so far. Uh see you in the next tutorial. Please uh, make sure you subscribe and you share the videos. And uh, see you in the next video.